Now to campaign 2020, the battle over mail-in ballots is heating up. Both President Trump and House Democrats dig in on the money issue when it comes to the U.S. Postal Service. Yes, and in a stunning political development, President Trump admitted exactly why he opposes more funding during this pandemic. KKL 9 Sarah Dodge has the latest and reaction. President Donald Trump tonight says no deal. He will not approve emergency funding for the Postal Service, $3 billion to help it handle what is expected to be the biggest vote by mail turnout in American history this November. If we don't make a deal, that means they don't get the money. That means they can't have universal mail-in voting. The president says unless Democrats back down from their latest pandemic relief bill, $3 trillion to continue federal unemployment checks and help states dig out of massive debt, he'll hold up money for the post office. He also thinks mail-in ballots lead to fraud. One of the reasons the post office needs that much money is to have all of these millions of ballots coming in from nowhere, and nobody knows from where and where they're going. The new Postmaster General, Louis DeJoy, a Trump fundraiser and ally appointed to the position in May, has made changes to the post office, making major changes in leadership and instituting cost cuts that some workers say have slowed delivery. Critics worry it's a deliberate attempt to sabotage vote by mail ahead of the election. Let me be clear that with regard to election mail, the Postal Service and I are fully committed to fulfilling our role in the electoral process. The notion that I would ever make decisions concerning the Postal Service at the direction of the president or anyone else in the administration is wholly off base. California Secretary of State Alex Padilla, who wrote a letter to DeJoy expressing concerns about Postal Service slowdowns, still insisted that Californians should not panic. Thankfully, we have resilient policy in California to guard against any potential delays or bottlenecks, uh, starting with sending out ballots early. The president has railed against voting by mail for months, claiming it is dangerous and saying it will corrupt the election. First I've been with Senator the Biden campaign responded to Trump's resistance to fund the Postal Service by calling Trump's comments an assault on democracy. Pure Trump. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's go. Fun. He doesn't want an election. Congressional Democrats say they will not accept a coronavirus relief bill without Postal Service funding. We are fighting to give the resources to the post office that they need to be able to handle the volume of ballots that we expect to be mailed during this pandemic. Well, today, the Senate adjourned for their summer recess, which will last until September 8th, and they did not reach an agreement on a coronavirus relief package. As for the upcoming election, Secretary of State Alex Padilla says Californians will be getting their ballots early around October 8th. He is requesting that voters vote as early as possible this year to avoid any potential delays. Sarah Donchi, KCAL 9 News.